This is KCTV English News. I'm Jared Collette. The provincial government is establishing special entry procedures for island visitors who recently traveled foreign countries. People who recently visited overseas countries need to fill in health survey forms and are subjected to temperature tests when they arrive on the island. COVID-19 tests are also being administered without cost to the traveler even if they do not have special symptoms. The overseas travelers are being monitored for two weeks after arrival to the island. Seoul is sharing with the Jeju government the travel information of foreigners and Koreans who are entering Korea through the updated entry procedure. Keep in mind, all overseas travelers are required to self-quarantine for 14 days. Jeju Island has launched an intensive social distancing campaign until April 5th in an effort to block the spread of the COVID-19 virus. The campaign is based on advice from Seoul. The campaign checked the implementation of quarantine guidelines and encouraged the practice of social distancing rather than restricting the operation of facilities. Jeju Island is inspecting over 5,000 locations in the province, including multi-use facilities, social welfare facilities, and private institutes. They are being inspected for proper disinfection practices and temperature monitoring, as well as the installation of hand sanitizers. Seoul previously recommended that religious facilities, indoor sports facilities, and entertainment facilities should continue to be shut down until April 5th. Cherry blossoms are officially blooming as of March 24th in Jeju. This is a day earlier than last year and also a day earlier than average. The blossoms are blooming earlier this year because the temperature is higher than average. The Jeju Regional Meteorological Administration says the blooming of the blossoms is affected by temperature and the duration of sunshine. Cherry blossoms are usually in full bloom seven days after their initial blooming. Unfortunately, Jeju Cherry Blossom Festival is canceled due to COVID-19. Cherry blossoms are in full bloom in Jeju amid COVID-19 fear. Cherry Blossom Festivals have been canceled. Health authorities are trying to prevent crowds from viewing the flowers as spring flower enjoyers' infections have been reported on the mainland. Joseph Kim reports. Flowers of pure white, tinged with the palest pink, are blooming. The flower tunnel stretches along the road. Cherry blossoms attract people who have long stayed at home in fear of the virus. All of the local cherry blossom festivals have been canceled due to COVID-19. But health authorities still have concerns on possible large gatherings and frequent close contact with others during the cherry blossom season. 250,000 people visited the three-day-long cherry blossom festival last year, which was held in Jeonnongno. This year, the number of visitors is expected to drop by 70 percent, but health authorities cannot be less vigilant. A tourist enjoying spring flowers was confirmed infected the patient visited Guregun, South Jala province, to view Cornelian cherry flowers. Similar cases are being reported in the mainland. The cherry blossom zone in Jinhe, South Gyeongsang province, has been off limits to prevent virus spread. Visitors are advised to wear a mask and keep distance with others while enjoying the cherry blossoms. Meanwhile, Jeju National University, one of the island's cherry blossom sites, has decided to ban entrance of the public to its campus until April 5th. Joseph Kim, KCTV. We're glad you were able to join us again today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. I'm Jared Collette. Take care.